I'm Justin Mott and welcome to my home in Hanoi, Vietnam. And you're gonna ask yourself today, why are you wearing that skin tight jersey that makes you look like a American sausage? That's the thing. And what's with your weird hat that's even weirder and less attractive than your other hat. But this is my cycling hat and this is my, some of my cycling gear. And today we're gonna to talk about two things I'm passionate about, photography and cycling. And this will be a new little series. I'm gonna play around with it and see how it goes. I did notice a lot of photographers out there are into cycling. I don't know if that happened just via COVID or if it's just a thing that I'm just now in tune with. So I'm gonna kick things off with this series. We're talking about what is the perfect camera to take with you on a bike ride. Now I'm not talking about, you know, going out for a 10 to 15 minute bike ride. With a backpack, you could take like all your camera gear with you. I'm talking about what's a perfect camera to take with you on long rides and long adventures, multiple day rides, or, you know, even just four or five hours in the saddle. If you like to capture pictures when you go out there, because I notice a lot of photographers are into cycling, and even if you're not a professional photographer, a lot of people want to take nice pictures. They want to take pictures of their bike that they spent a lot of time building or uh, spent a lot of money on. They want to take pictures of themselves. They want to take pictures of their riding club or the weekend riding group. They want to take pictures of, the, of their fellow riders. Or, you know, if you go on, uh, on weekly rides with a group or if you go on rides with a friend, it's fun to take pictures of each other. Uh, it's fun to take pictures of yourself and it's fun to take pictures of your scenery. But what is the perfect camera to take with you? So I didn't start outwardly and go out and research. I started inwardly. I looked at my stable. I spent a lot of money on my bike gear, so I didn't want to buy any new cameras just for this case. I wanted to look at what do I have in my gear that would be the perfect camera. So first I thought about, all right, Canon and that system with all those lenses, forget it, no way. Too heavy, too bulky, not gonna take it with me. Then I thought about my Leica. Now, I love my Leica, as many of you guys know. I'm Leica, 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 Leica. I Leica, my Leica. You know, I, I've done my Leica reviews. I like how simple my, the Leica is. I like that it's somewhat lightweight, but not light enough to take on a bike ride. It's just too big and bulky. You add a lens to it, it's not gonna fit in your jersey pocket. You're not gonna wanna wear it around your back. Again, I'm talking about long rides. You have this thing around your shoulder for four hours, you're gonna feel every little bit and it's gonna be really annoying. You can't really fit it onto your frame. You could maybe find a bag, a saddlebag you could fit into, but just heavy and bulky. You spend a lot of money in cycling making your bike light. You spend a lot of money on a carbon fiber frame and a lot of money making your bike weigh less that you're not gonna wanna take a bulky camera with you. So Leica is no good, not gonna work. Just to put the specs up here for the Leica, I'll put the weight of the Leica and the dimensions of the Leica right now. So many of you are gonna think like, why not just your phone? That's perfect, right? And I think for many of you, it is. But for some people that are a little bit more into photography and want something a little more advanced, like me, a camera's not gonna do it. Yes, it can take nice pictures. Yes, some people do it well, I understand that. But I just like a dedicated camera. Call me old school, call me what you want. Camera, phone, no good. I wanted something like an actual camera with me. So the first thing that I think about is size and weight. You don't want something too bulky. You want something that can fit into a jersey pocket or fit into a frame bag, which I have here, by the way. This is not a paid promotion, but I just recently bought this bag here by Post Carry. This is a frame bag. It fits right here on my bike frame, my gravel bike here. I can keep a raincoat in here, uh, you know, tools, things like that. Just a great piece of equipment by these guys, Post Carry. They make stuff out of Vietnam, so shout out to Market Post Carry. I did buy this. This isn't a paid promotion, but I just like to give people props, small businesses like this, making cool products, very cool product, very satisfied with it so far. So the parameters for me were what can fit in my jersey pocket, or if I really needed to, I could keep it in this frame bag here. But something really easy, something accessible, something with uh, autofocus is helpful because I'm often gonna ride safely. You know, I always encourage everyone to be safe, but take it out of my jersey pocket on the ride. I see something when I'm riding Vietnam. It's like, it's so fascinating. There's always interesting things. You know, you're going down, you're riding down the road, and you just see like a guy herding a bunch of cows in the middle of the road, or you just see beautiful scenery of, of uh, rice paddies to your left. And then over there, there's something crazy. It's just always something to look at. So I wanted a camera that could work quickly. Uh, didn't need to like have a fast uh, frame per second, but I just wanted something that could turn on quickly, shoot quickly, and don't have to worry about changing lenses and things like that. So I looked through all my cameras, but dug out my Ricoh GR3. So this camera, the GR3, has a cult following for street photographers. It's great because it's compact. Uh, it can fit in your front pocket, unless you're like a skinny jeans guy or girl, but if you just have like normal jeans, like I would wear, uh, it fit, fits in your front pocket. Uh, really tiny, really lightweight. 
and it's just a great quality lens and it has equivalent of a 28 millimeter lens, great lens for street photography. It comes in at about $900, so a little, a little bit expensive, but uh, quality, really, really good quality lens on here, 24 megapixel camera, great screen on the back, just simple, minimalistic, but really high quality and perfect size. So the Ricoh GR3, I thought, let me take this out for a spin. Let me see what it's like to take a camera out with me on a ride. So I thought to myself, how, how would I use this? How, what kind of shots? Would it just be when I take a, a break at a cafe, take some pictures of my bike, take some pictures of like uh, how fat I am, take some pictures of, of how dirty you are, things like that. Yeah, that's one thing. It's fun to take a picture of yourself, fun to take a picture of your bike, but I like to take pictures of my scenery. I like to tell stories with my ride. So if I'm trying a new ride or going on a new adventure with my bike or doing a multi-day ride, how much fun would it be to have this thing with me? Or even for all of you out there that are just looking for doing a, a week, you know, weekend ride with a group. You like taking pictures of your friends, like uh, take pictures of the cyclists, things like that. Uh, or you just go out with one buddy, you like take pictures of them. You can swap, take pictures of each other, that kind of stuff. That's just how I would use it. And that's why I thought it'd be great to have a camera with me. So I want something lightweight. I want something small in overall size. And I want something a little bit higher quality than my camera phone. So I took this on a ride with me. I threw it in my jersey for the beginning. One thing I'll say for a lot of you out there, if you ride in wet conditions, be careful, the camera's not 100% waterproof, so having it in your jersey pocket, if you don't have like a protected pocket, you might wanna cover it a little bit, um, because you know, also if you don't have mud guards and you're going in a really, really dirty ride, you're kicking up mud, you're kicking up water onto your back, it could get a little bit wet. It was wet out there when I took this for a ride. Uh, I did keep it in my back pocket and I didn't have any problems. It didn't soak through the jersey, but if it was like really, really heavy rain, I would put it in my frame bag, which is waterproof, and if you don't have a waterproof frame bag, uh, just put it in like a little Ziploc bag and cover it up. So I took this camera on my ride with me. I wanted to tell a little photo story of like my wake up, waking up early in the morning, having my espresso, my little routine. I thought it'd be fun to just kind of capture that just for myself to have it. Uh, it's also fun to share on, on Strava, Facebook and Instagram and that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm not gonna tell a photo story every single time, but I wanted to see, I wanted to test this. So I put it to the limits. I thought, all right, I'm gonna document as much as possible. I'm gonna keep this in my jersey. Uh, and I'm, I'm not gonna stop a lot. I'm gonna see how this camera performs on the go. And overall, I was really, really happy with it. I'm sure there's other cameras out there and I'll do a little more research, but I was really, really happy with the performance of this camera. I kept it in my back pocket. I dialed in all my settings. You know, I photographed myself. It has autofocus, great autofocus. It has a built-in black and white high contrast filter, which I like. I thought it'd be kind of fun to, I don't wanna spend a ton of work on this. This is going for my ride, going for a workout. So I just want it to be simple and easy. So dialed in my settings, put in the filter I want. It's a built-in filter. Uh, and just shot along the way. Uh, I, I shot from my jersey, I was, I, my ride starts out leaving the city, going over, over this big bridge, and it's a little bit of traffic. I wanna capture the trucks that sort of scream by you, uh, get a couple shots of that, and as, as it turns from, from dark, because I leave at four, I leave about 5 a.m., so it's pitch black out there, uh, and this camera's great in low light as well, so I wanna capture that, you know, on the bike, riding in the morning, other riders out there. Interesting things I see along the way, like, you know, going through these little villages. You know, getting shots like this on the fly were a lot of fun, like this shot here, this guy, I, you could see him a couple meters ahead of me with uh, herding these cattle through, through this little village on, on, the, on the road, on the main road through the village, and just like quickly get my camera out, already on, keep one hand on the, on the handlebar, take a quick picture on the fly, and then just using it along the way just to capture my little story, my breaks, you know, having a break, photographs of my bike, the little villages I stopped through, those little things that pop up. So overall, it was a lot of fun. I just created this little photo story here. I really, really digged using this. It was a lot of fun to tell the story of my ride. I could see myself doing this more in rides. I could see myself mainly using this though, just to have when little moments pop up. You see something fun on the street, you see something fun, uh, a little scene, things just happen. It's great to have a camera on you at all times. And this camera, I didn't feel the weight a lot. Again, I'm not like a super you know, crazy person overweight. My bike is about, nine kilos, it's not like a crazy six kilo lightweight bike, but just for my daily rides, my exercise rides. Perfect size camera, perfect weight. I really, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed this this little pack here. When it was raining and got too heavy, I can pack it away in, in here easily, or if you just you know don't feel like having it in your jersey anymore, but pack it in here. But I really didn't mind. I didn't really feel it much in my jersey at all. It's very, very lightweight. I'll put the specs here, just so you can compare. You can see here's the weight and the dimensions of the Leica, and I'll also put up the weight and the dimensions here of the Ricoh, just so you can compare size. Now, again, I'm sure there's other cameras out there that are great for this task, but this was a camera I had on me. I suggest all of you look inwardly before you go out and spend your money. Look and see if there's something that works for you, something maybe you didn't use a lot before, but now if you're gonna go out and cycle, you might use it for that. So, But overall, really, really happy with this camera. It comes in at about, uh, just to review the specs, it's about a $900 camera. So yeah, it's expensive. Uh, great quality, great quality lens. It's a 24 megapixel camera. It has a equivalent of a 28 millimeter lens on it. 
wide enough to capture what I need to capture. Again, great camera for street photography, but I think it's a great camera for cycling photography, if that's a thing. And if it's not a thing, I'm gonna make it a thing. So for all you cyclists out there that are also into photography, pro or, or amateur, whatever, you just like to take pictures, I thought this was a great camera. You can see for yourself here, here's some of my favorite pictures from my ride. I made this little story from start to finish, so. pictures from my 80 kilometer ride, not stopping a lot, you know, I took one or two breaks, took some shots of myself, took some shots of my bike, took some shots of the scenery, tried to create a little fun photo story. So I hope you like it. Hope you like this review. If you want to see more stuff, cycling, photography, hybrid sort of videos, let me know because I think I kind of want to do more stuff like that. I had a lot of fun doing this. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun watching. Thank you for tuning in today and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take it easy.